In other wrestling news, Stone Cold Steve Austin is said to be making his ring return to WrestleMania 38. Yes, you heard it right. Said earlier this week, it was reported that WWE Hall of Famer Stone Cold Steve Austin could be competing at WrestleMania 38. On the latest edition of Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer noted that Steve Austin versus Kevin Owens is on the card for WrestleMania. However, it's unknown whenever or not the match will be happening on one night or two night premium event, but the match is planned. The bill for the match started on Monday Night Raw this week when Kevin Owens trash talked Texas. This will be Steve Austin's first match in 19 years since he has beaten The Rock by The Rock at WrestleMania 19. Since that time, Austin has been inducted into the WWE's Hall of Fame and he has shown up spontaneously in different roles. From being a general manager to a special guest referee, nowadays his primary role for the company are the, the popular Broken Skull session of the WWE Peacock Network. Last April on the Talk is Jericho podcast, Austin was asked if he had ever seriously considered an in-ring comeback. Man, not really, Austin responded. I think Vince McMahon tried talking to me a couple years, a couple times. But you know, Chris, I love the business so much. I love it more than anybody else. I can only speak for himself, but I love the damn business. It hurt me to leave it. And to me, going back for that one match, man, what am I proving? What are they going to remember? It ain't about the money. It's about It took me a long time, damn near three years, to get over the fact that I left the business. Okay, so it's it's a mixture of things going on with this. A lot of people don't know that, and it was revealed years later, that Stone Cold walked out on his high regard after that match with The Rock. He was done. Everybody thought that it was going to be a continued story. He was going to be involved wrestling. But he was done after that. Like, his neck was shot. He he did what he's supposed to do. And over the years, he started, you know, getting that itch back. You know how we, we talk about this on many shows when guys that love the business so much, they get that itch. They get that tease. Like, what they do, like, for example, with Edge. People thought Edge was done. I thought he was done for 20 20- 11 when he retired so he gets that itch back when he speared i think what, what was the guy name he speared somebody on SummerSlam. i forgot his name at the moment but i was like okay edge he got in shape he been working out more he gonna work for that second run and that's how it usually be and i'm with stone cold steve austin it's sort of a situation where he sort of missed that boat in 2013 when he had CM Punk. That would have been a better matchup for him because they were promoting the WWE 2013 video game and they redid the Rock and Austin promo with JR in the middle. And Stone Cold, man, he just so... He's so talented to where he could turn it on and off like a white switch. Like he could be that old Stone Cold Steve Austin. He could be that jolly drunk, and he could snap into it. Then also on the WWE podcast, Paul Heyman tried to talk him into fighting Lesnar. He didn't want to do it then. But considering the fact that on the contrary of what many people say with Vince McMahon, he's a billionaire, man. The WWE's doing fine business. They're in panic mode, man. Because if they, was, if, if they were that good, why would you keep having to recall nostalgia acts to sell tickets? They're not selling one-third of what they thought were WrestleMania. So, they're going, back to the, they're going back to the drawing board. And I'm like, I don't want to hear nothing what these WWE marks is saying about WCW. Because they're doing the same exact stuff WCW was doing 20 years ago. Going back to the drawing board and bringing old nostalgia acts. They were doing it with Hogan, Savage, Piper, and Flair. Now they doing it with Austin. Now they doing it with Taker. Now they doing it with Rock. Now they doing it with Goldberg. So don't come over here talking that noise. Now, I wouldn't mind a Stone Cold Steve Austin appearance. He's a draw. I mean, he brought the hood back to wrestling in a way. Well, he brought the hood back to the WWE. Because the NWO came and took that over already. So he brought the cool factor back. 
But at this point now, in order for all these guys that's currently here, they gonna have to beat some of these legends, man. Like, think about the heat Kevin Owens would get if he beat Stone Cold Steve Austin in Texas. I don't think it's going to happen because, see, Stone Cold is protective of his brand. And a loss, he's going to look at it like a loss is going to hurt him in a way, which it kind of would, which is why I wouldn't want to see him in the ring anymore because it's not going to further anybody else. I mean, they're going to probably have a mark out moment. Oh, I'm in the ring with Stone Cold Steve Austin. But how is it going to benefit them going forward? It's going to be a nostalgia effect, and it's going to be forgotten about within another month. Him beating Stone Cold Steve Austin would do wonders for Kevin Owens. Even if it's cheating. Hit him with a chair. One, two, three. In Texas. My God. That's new heat right there. But... Stone Cold coming in, beating this guy, and Kevin Owens is like, what, 20 years younger? What is it going to do for him? It's going to be a good moment for him. Like, okay, I was in the ring with Stone Cold Steve Austin, but further down, how is it going to elevate him? It's not going to do anything for Steve. That's what I was saying earlier um, the other day. What are these old guys coming in beating up on younger talent? How is it benefiting them? The only people that did it right was the Dudleys. They Dudleys put um, Anderson and Gallows over when they attacked them. They attacked the Dudleys and put them through their table. And that was a passing of the torch right there. Think about this. Kevin Owens stunning Stone Cold Steve Austin, one, two, three, in, in Texas. That's crazy. That's how you put over new talent, new heat right there. But Stone Cold ain't going to do that shit. He ain't going to do that at all. He's very prideful of his brand. So if they're going to do a back and forth, it's probably going to run about five to ten minutes. Austin going to get the stunner, and he's going to drink beers. Kevin Owens probably going to say sorry. He's going to drink the beer, stunner again, rinse, cycle, repeat. But if they really want to pull that trigger, have Stone Cold lose to the stunner in Texas and let Kevin Owens get his shine. If you want to really do something with it. But that's my opinion about that. What you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Subscribe, hit the like button, holler.